Hello everybody, I'm Larry Ganan down here at the Scott Learning Center in Scott, Mississippi today. We're going to go through the DeKalb portfolio of corn products for 2021. We have everything from 110 day through 120 day products here on the site here at Scott, Mississippi. I'd like to start out by talking about a couple that aren't here today that are brand new. We don't plant some of the earliest products that we have all the way down here in Mississippi sometimes. But for the North Delta region that I represent, which is West Tennessee, Arkansas, and the Boot Hill of Missouri, the 110, 111, 112 day products are an important set of products for us up there. So the first one I want to introduce to you for 2021 is a new 110 day product. Now these are all DeKalb brand products. The maturity is designed to uh, let you know exactly what you're looking at. So take the first two numbers on the sign, add 50 to it. That'll give you the maturity of every DeKalb product. So the first product is DeKalb DKC 6080. So this is a 110 day product. It's got a girthy ear, quick out of the ground, strong emergence, got some good flex to it, pretty good on green snap. We think it's gonna be a good fit for those that are looking for an early product to be able to get started on harvest in the North Delta, get rolling, get some corn in the grain bin. That's the first product I wanna tell you about. The next product is going to be DKC 6253, available in a, a VT Double Pro and a VT Double Pro rib blend as well. So this has been a product for us for the last three years. So this is something that uh, we like in a 112 day product. It's a good all around fit for us. It likes strong ground. It's reasonably stress tolerant on the dryland hills in West Tennessee, but it does like strong ground as well for best performance. So it'll go across the river on those irrigated acres over in Arkansas on the Boot Hill of Missouri. It's reasonably stress tolerance, but you generally want to put it on good corn ground where you have opportunity. Good flex with this product, like some deeper soils. It's done a good job for us over the last three years. That's DeKalb 6253. Another 112 day product that I'd like to talk to you about that's going to be brand new for 2021 is DeKalb 6289. This is a Tricepta product. For the DeKalb portfolio, Tricepta is a new insect trait platform that we introduced two or three years ago. It adds an additional BT gene into the trait stack, gives us enhanced protection against corn earworm and some redundancy protection against European and Southwestern corn borer. Those corn borers are still out there, so we can't forget about them. The original traits are still controlling corn borer really well, but Mother Nature plays the long game. We always want to stay ahead of her. So that additional BT gene gives us that extra protection against corn earworm and also against those corn borers that are still out there in the population as well. 6289 is a little bit of a fixed ear product. It likes a higher population. Good green snap rating on it. Uh, likes uh, deep soils as well, but it shows some really good yield punch. According to the breeder data that we've looked at, it should be a substantial upgrade over DeKalb 6253 that I talked about earlier. So we like the prospects of 62, DeKalb 6289 going forward. We should have hopefully a small supply for 2021. So it could be the future of our 112 day lineup. As we move through the maturities, we go next to a 113 day product. The next product is DeKalb 6357, available in a Double Pro rib version. 6357 is a product that we started planting this year commercially, a little bit last year in 2019. We like the looks of it. It likes all soil types with the exception of really sandy soil. So it needs to be on silt loam, mixed to heavy ground, does a good job there. It's a solid hybrid, pretty good on green snap, decent health package on it has good stay green at harvest, so we like 6357 as a 113 day product going forward into 2021. After that product, we go to 6435, DeKalb 6435, available in a Smart Stacks and available in a VT Double Pro as well, and also available in a conventional product as DeKalb 6432. So this is a special product for it. It is one of our Disease Shield hybrids. So Disease Shield, means that we have additional disease protection against four of the primary leaf diseases that we run across here in West Tennessee and in Arkansas and in the Boot Hill of Missouri. So northern corn leaf blight, anthracnose, gray leaf spot, and especially southern rust. Now what separates 6435, DeKalb 6435, from the rest of the pack, it has major gene resistance to southern rust on one side of its parentage and moderate resistance on the other side. That's really rare within our lineup. So it's not as absolutely immune to southern rust, but it's very rare that you would have to spray DeKalb 6435 for southern rust. So we like that about this product. That native set of genes that we've got in our Disease Shield products gives us enhanced protection 
and they do have to be sprayed sometimes if a pathogen comes in really heavily, but most of the time a disease shield product, you can forego a fungicide except in special situations. DeKalb 6435 has deep kernels and a small cob, so sometimes the ear size can be misleading, but that yield's going to be there. It does like a good environment. It's great under irrigation. It likes deeper soils. The green snap is average on this particular product. It has been the largest volume product in the company up to two years ago. We've started to move some other products in now. Some of the later products are taking some volume, but 6435 has cut a wide swath across the Mid-South and the Midwest for the last three years. It's a good solid product for us for the North Delta region. As we move into these mid-season products, I'm standing by DeKalb 6595. This is a really tough product for us that has a rare combination of stress tolerance and top-end yield. We don't see that very often. That's why we like this product. It works on both sides of the river, Tennessee, Western Kentucky, high top end yield, a good disease package on it, a really good green snap rating on it as well. So good standability, quick out of the ground. There's really nothing not to like about this one. The one watch out is Southern Rust tolerance. It's a little bit weak on Southern Rust. So if you see Southern Rust developing on DKC 6595, it certainly warrants a fungicide spray. So this is a solid product for us. We like it, it's hard to go wrong. It's in the midpoint of the maturity range. We really like this product. So I'll move on down the row a little bit here. And I wanna to talk to you about another 115 day product that's coming along that's even stronger than 6595. And that's DKC 6599. Now this is a product that we brought in last year. We tested it on both sides of the river. It really surprised us. It is a Tricepta product, just like the Cal 6289 that I talked about earlier. So Tricepta gives us that additional insect protection. This product was one of the two that topped the yield trials in 2019 on both sides of the river. So we know the horsepower is there on 6599. It likes a good population, quick out of the ground, healthy enough for us on the diseases that we encounter, got a good rating on Southern Rust, so better than 6595. So if you're looking for a mid-season product with a little better Southern Rust rating, DeKalb 6599 will fit the bill there. Uh, we like it in West Tennessee. We really like it across the river on irrigation as well. So DeKalb 6599. Another new product for 2021, we actually introduced it this year in 2020 on a few acres, is DeKalb 6618, so another 116-day product. This was the second product that topped the trials last year along with DKC 6599. This one was a little bit of a surprise to me. I didn't think it would be quite that strong, but it really turned out the yield. So we like this product, it's pretty healthy as well. We like the ear placement on it. It does a good job of setting the ear on a midpoint on the plant so we don't get too much leverage. The standability is really good on 6618. Good roots and stalks with a good green snap rating. And so it's gonna be there for you at harvest time. We like 6618 going forward, DeKalb 6618 going forward, and it should be a good product for us for a fit for the North Delta. Hi, I'm Chet Chaney, technical agronomist for DeKalb. Larry's discussed our first half of our lineup for the North Delta, the earlier half. I'm gonna take care of the second half. The first product we're gonna start with is DKC 6675, Disease Shield. So that Disease Shield, like Larry's told you, tells us a lot about that structure and how it handles disease. This product has a great deal of resistance, natural born resistance to the southern diseases that we face in the South Delta and the North Delta. One thing about this product is it really handles wet feet pretty darn well. Uh, yields have been have held up well in some of these last few springs if we've had a lot more rain than what we want early season and it's handled that really well and still yielded pretty nicely. This product moves you know, pretty well uh, on both sides of the river as far as irrigated and non-irrigated. Uh, it stands extremely well and it's really been a good solid product, probably underappreciated right now. It's one of my seven starters that I would plant basically anywhere. So a really, really solid product that y'all need to take a look at. The next one we'll look at is 60, DKC 6737. It's a brand new product. And like with all new products, we're still learning on this one. It looks like it's probably gonna be more of a top-end racehorse type product, uh, but still work irrigated and non-irrigated for those east of the river with a lot of uh, dry land acres. We think this may still have a pretty good function in it. It's got one of the best Southern Rust uh, ratings of anything in our lineup, and it has good agronomics. Now the big one. DKC 6744, the one we never seem to be able to get enough of. 
The reason that it performs, it performs extremely well. It's tough uh, in, in non-irrigated environments. It really, really does well. It's won state OVT trials on irrigated acres over in the Delta. Absolutely fantastic product. It emerges well. It is the best product that I have that handles wet feet. So it really just handles almost everything that comes along. And one of the things you see on most of our hybrids is kernel depth. Sometimes we may not have quite the length, although this is a monster, that other folks have. But our products have deep, deep kernels. The cobs are pretty small, and the kernel depth is just really, really strong. This product is just outstanding, really, really strong, and we're continuing to ramp up supply of it to try to satisfy needs. The one thing that I would caution you on is the stalk strength late season is a little soft. So I wanna make sure we manage that with a population lower, 32, 34,000 on irrigated ground, maybe squeeze 35,000, but generally we, we recommend 32 to 34,000. The second thing I need you to do is harvest on time. Don't need to leave this one in the field. Uh, I would love to see it go in the grain bins at, at moistures in 20% or plus. Um, I've seen it go down lower than that as far as and still stand, but I really, really want to caution you, making sure that you harvest on time and have fun because this one is really, really outstanding product. So our next product is a new one, another new one, DKC 6794 Tricepta. Probably going to be more of a stress hybrid. It has great emergence, it has great stalks and roots, it's going to stand, it's shown to be a very good standability product. Um, I think it's going to be probably shifted more into a stress environment. We'll see what it does. Sometimes those yields can surprise us. It can, it can excel even in higher yield environments. But right now it looks like it's probably going to be there. Won't have a lot of supply of it next year, but we'll take a look at it. The next product we'll discuss is DKC 6869. As you can tell, this is a very tall product. Uh, not only is it tall, the good news when we start getting in tall plants, we worry about, well, is the stalk strength okay? Problem solved. This stalk, it's a very, very robust stalk. Um, the, the standability on 68-69 is very strong. To go along with that strength, it's also a heck of a stress product. Uh, and while I say that, it doesn't dismiss that in my area, on higher yield environments, it's done really well last year in, in plots. But this really is gonna be a great product for maybe a little bit more pressure, a little bit more stress. Uh, and it's because of its size and its strength, it's gonna be a great dual purpose product as well. Our next product is DKC 6999. It's a new product. This is the first year we're testing it. It's a Tricepta. Populations behind me are probably a little heavier than what I'd like to see on it. Probably about a 34,000 planting population is gonna be the right spot. Probably gonna be a stress hybrid. We'll see when we get the yields in this fall. Our last product is DKC 7027. It's a disease shield product. Uh, we've had it for several years and it's been really outstanding across environments. Um, first couple of years we ran into supply problems more than anything else. It just really is a great, great product. Um, that 120 day may scare a few folks, but it really dries down more like a 118 day product. So that's not a real problem at the end. Uh, it's very healthy with the disease work. Again, very good kernel depth. Population I'd like to see here is probably 32 to 34, 35,000 planted. Um, probably looking at 20 around. And again, those kernel depth is really, really, it's a deep, deep kernel. These aren't chiclets. They're big, big kernels. Um, the one watch out I would ask you to make care, take care of is it's a little slow to emerge. So I'd like it to be in good conditions. Uh, a lot of times growers get in a hurry and push planting into some really unfavorable environments. This one probably needs to have good conditions. Doesn't have to be great, but just don't make a big mistake in planting on really cold 48, 50 degree soil temperatures. Larry and I have talked about a lot of great products and that's the key. They're great. We're very proud to support them, to represent them, and to put them on your farm.